Everyone wants to own the best smartphone out there right now, like the iPhone or the S6 Edge. But they're so expensive and often not worth the functional value to the consumer, people start looking for other great options. Here I introduced the ASUS Zenfone 2 Laser priced at about 10,000 Indian rupees, as against the S6 Edge, which is about 48,000 Indian rupees. ASUS is the fifth largest manufacturer of PCs in the world and amongst the top 10 IT companies in Asia. Their venture in the smartphone world has kicked off pretty well and they're coming up with better products each time. The S6 Edge offers high-end specifications that every flagship device must offer. The Zenfone 2 Laser, despite being one-fifth the cost of the S6 Edge, still offers a larger display, dual SIM option, microSD card storage up to 128GB, and a larger battery, all things that the S6 Edge does not offer. The Zenfone 2 Laser design seems to offer a dual-tone experience as you notice the black glass floating on top of a metallic finished plastic frame that comes in a striking new red color. The back of the S6 Edge has a metallic glass finish that lends it great looks. But the S6 Edge is prone to more fingerprint smudges and it also runs the risk of a crack if it falls down. Now the Zenfone 2 Laser has a metallic finish plastic back that is absolutely smudge free and it also provides for better grip while using. Unlike the S6 Edge, the Zenfone 2 Laser has a removable back with replaceable battery and microSD card storage expansion. The Zenfone 2 Laser has a 3000mAh battery which is more than the 2600mAh battery that you get with the S6 Edge promising you a better battery life. In addition to being 4G enabled, the Zenfone 2 Laser also offers dual SIM option and the capability to expand storage using microSD card slot. The S6 Edge offers a more crisp display experience but the Zenfone 2 Laser offers a more immersive experience with a bright and colorful larger 5.5 inch IPS display that also offers a great readability in bright sunlight when outdoors. The Zenfone 2 is thicker and heavier than the S6 Edge which I particularly prefer because it gives more sturdiness to the device and it's less delicate than the S6 Edge. In terms of single hand use, the Zenfone 2 is manageable using single hand but given it has a larger display, it's a lot easier to use with both hands. Both the devices offer Android Lollipop, uh, the screen lock on both the devices offer shortcuts to things like camera, the phone dialer, while the Zenfone 2 additionally also provides a shortcut to messaging. Once unlocked, you see the Zen UI on the laser, while you see Samsung's touchways on the Galaxy S6 Edge. The Zenfone 2 Laser comes with more preloaded apps than the S6 Edge, offering some more utility, social-based apps, and Zenfone-specific apps. Now, while the S6 Edge app drawer does not offer more options than creating folders and rearranging app icons, the Zenfone 2 Laser offers more customizable options in terms of view of the apps, and things you could do with the various apps laid out in the app drawer, like lock them, hide them, change the grid size, and group them together automatically. Now, just like the Galaxy S6 Edge offers uh, exclusive TouchWiz themes in its newly formed theme store, the Zenfone 2 Laser also has its own theme store and it lets you change your phone's theme every single day. So, you know, you could just wake up and you can uh, decide to change the way your phone looks uh, by just installing a new theme. And you've got an entire store full of those. Now, the Zenfone 2 uh, with its quad-core processor and 2GB RAM offers a fast and flawless user operation. Opening and closing of apps, shifting between apps, multitasking, all of these seem to be a breeze. Now, to help the owners out, the Zenfone 2 Laser also features an app called My Asus, which connects people to know more about their smartphone, um, connect them to other people using the Zenfone 2, and also gives you information uh, about service of your Zenfone and instant connect to hotline service. The Zenfone 2 Laser is also more customizable, so you get uh, the, you know, the ability to change icon packs, add sc screen transitions and animation effects, change the theme and whatnot. Now let's talk about the camera. The Zenfone 2 Laser is a 13 megapixel camera with dual LED flash and a laser based focus that's insanely fast. Looking at the camera software, it offers you a variety of modes like HDR, low light photography, various filters through the effects mode, um, manual mode as well, and some cool video effects like time lapse, time rewind, and slow motion, all of which are also available in the Galaxy S6 Edge. The manual mode, just like the pro mode in the Galaxy S6 Edge, lets you tweak each and every aspect of taking a picture like the ISO modes, the white balance mode, uh, manual focus, exposure settings, and so on. And just that it gives you more control than the auto mode, which is also pretty good for amateur photographers. 
The Zenfone 2 laser is called laser because of the laser-based autofocus technology that ensures extremely quick focus while taking pictures. So the, and the dual LED flash also ensures brilliant lighting in very, very dark conditions. And to just give you a sense of how fast the autofocus is and how fast clicking pictures is, you can see how I move my lens cover from one angle or you know from various distances and you can see that it quickly autofocuses and takes a very quick picture. Even while taking the video, you can see that the Zenfone 2 laser does not lose focus on your subject, while the S6 Edge has a fixed focus when it comes to taking videos. And again, in another example that I would show, you'd see that the swing goes back and forth but again, the Zenfone 2 laser does not lose focus while the S6 Edge, uh, it shuttles, it struggles a bit to get the focus right. And I think it's pretty cool for a device that's one fifth the cost of the S6 Edge to have a feature like that. When it comes to taking selfies, uh, I think it's done a brilliant job. Uh, the front camera, when it comes to colors and contrast, you can see that it's pretty good. And I took a couple of shots between the S6 Edge and the Zenfone 2 laser. Now the S6 Edge definitely had brighter photos, but I think the colors looked better on the Zenfone 2 laser. Now to sum it all up, the Zenfone 2 laser, given its price point, is an extremely great value for money package. With quad-core processor and 2GB of RAM, this 4G device truly offers a seamless Android experience and makes it easy to launch and close apps, shuttle between different apps and so on. With the capability of expanding storage using a micro SD card, you can expand storage up to 128 GB with plenty of music, movies and videos. And a 13 megapixel camera featuring dual LED flash, laser autofocus, taking pictures is a lot of fun. It's a good looking device with good performance and it comes at a price point which is easy on the pocket, yet delivering a fun and powerful smartphone experience.